Cheers in the Rio Grande Valley today as SpaceX's highly anticipated rocket finally launched off. Yes, a successful liftoff, but four minutes later, the massive rocket exploded. This giant unmanned rocket ended up crashing into the Gulf. Yeah, it's part of the company's goal, though, to one day send people around the world in the 400 foot starship. So not necessarily astronauts, people like you and I. Or you guys at home? I don't know if I'm in. They may need to test <laughs> some more. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Stephanie Goss tells us tonight that SpaceX still considers today's launch a success. Three. SpaceX's Starship, the brainchild of billionaire Elon Musk, had liftoff. What a sight from the green cameras of Starbucks. And then the uncrewed flight had some problems. Uh, it does appear to be spinning, but I do. This was supposed to be the moment the spacecraft separated from the super heavy booster. Starship just experienced what we call a rapid unscheduled disassembly. What is an unscheduled disassembly? Because it kind of looked like an explosion. A uh, rapid unscheduled disassembly is the SpaceX code for very large explosion. But even so, this was not a failure for SpaceX. And even getting a few minutes of flight like they did is incredible progress for them, purely on the basis of the data that they're going to receive from that flight. And Musk's company has its eyes on eventually sending people to the moon and Mars. SpaceX is working with a $3 billion NASA contract. There have been some dramatic explosions. But today, the NASA administrator congratulated the company. Every great achievement throughout history has demanded some level of calculated risk, he wrote, because with great risk comes great reward. Musk spoke about risk with NBC News in 2021. This is, uh, space is risky. More than anything else, I just want to make sure we do everything possible to maximize the, the safety of, of, of the crew. Musk says valuable lessons will be learned from today. Another test launch is scheduled in a few months. Stephanie Gosk, NBC News.